Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to create a table in Azure Storage. Let me just uh, quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Or let me just uh, quickly complete my storage account creation and proceed with the table storage. Click on create. I'm going to pause the video and come back as soon as it is done. I'm logged on to the portal. So uh, what is a uh, table storage? It is table storage is a service that stores structured NoSQL data in the cloud, providing a key attribute store with a schemeless, schemaless design. Because table storage is schemaless, it is easy to adapt your data as the needs of your application evolve. We can use table storage to store flexible data sets like user data for web applications, address books, device information, or other types of metadata the service requires. We can store any number of entities in a table and a storage account may contain any number of tables up to the capacity a limit of the storage account. We can storing terabytes of structured data capable of serving web scale applications. It, uh, we can help storing data sets that don't require complex joins. It will be helpful in quickly querying data using a yeah, clustered index. So if you would let's if you would see my storage account and if you would scroll down you see the table service and you see the tables we have the queues file shavers blobs as well under table click on this plus table icon you can have the table name like this click on ok and your table is created and if you would come here you can click on here the access policy for your table design you can add a policy here identifier and the permissions And if you want to secure your table data, you can authorize the access to the table data. So if you would have the access keys in your storage account, so if you would go to the access keys configuration, you click on here in the settings tab. These are the action access keys, key one and key two. You can we can copy paste and share it with the developer to add the data in the Azure storage. You can also have the Azure key vault to manage the access on the access keys. We can configure the connection strings as well. So if you would uh, view and copy paste this connection string, like this is the connection string under keys, and this is the connection string for key two. That is how the Azure table storage would work precisely under a storage account. And you can also enable the client side encryption using .NET, Java, or Python. You can also configure the uh, network security using the firewalls and virtual networks and enable the use the Azure storage REST API as well. I will try to make a video on how to call a REST API operations with the shared key authorization in particularly for storage account not for the table specifically for the table storage but you got the idea of the table storage here what I wanted to convey so if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section and I see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day bye bye